Welcome back to Public Affairs on Peach. We are getting a little wild this segment, as you can see from the reptiles on our table here. This is our look at the Atlanta Science Festival, which is going on today. The uh, Exploration Expo at Centennial Olympic Park from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is free. We've got Kathy Smith here, the adoption coordinator for the Georgia Reptile Society, and she has brought some of her friends with her. What do you got there, Kathy? Uh, we have uh, bearded dragons. This is our uh, Puff and Lulu. Puff and Lulu. Now, what is a bearded dragon? <laughs> bearded dragons uh, originate in um, Australia, and uh, the reason they're called bearded dragons is because uh, they will present a black beard sometimes um, when they are angry or fighting off a predator. Really? And that's what you see here. So right now, he's pretty happy. Right now, he's pretty happy. <laughs> That can change quickly. Are these, he's really looking at me there. Are these um, aggressive uh, lizards? And tell me about that. They're not aggressive unless you put two males together and Which they can. Which we've done right here. Yes. Okay, and they thank can. Thank you for that. They can be <laughs> become aggressive towards each other, uh -huh. not towards you or okay. me, unless you put your hand in between yeah, them. Yeah, I'll stay over here. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, so what do they do? Um, are, are they venomous or, or tell me about that? No, they are not venomous. And um, basically, um, they all have their own enclosures and pretty much they're just pure entertainment. Where do they uh, originate from? Australia. Australia, you find these in the wild like uh, Gila monsters in Arizona, et cetera? Uh-huh. All right, who do you have on your shoulder? Um, this is Reptar and he is a Chinese water dragon. He's about four years old and he came to us through our uh, adoption program. So they clearly they come in different colors. We see the one on your shoulder is green, the other ones are more of kind of a beige sand color. Tell me about that. Um, this is what color that you would normally see a water dragon, <clears throat> and with the um, with the bearded dragons, they come in all sorts of colors. I have some that are really bright yellow. Um, we have one that's gray, and a lot of them come in red. And we will get into this with the next segment. I want to bring in the snakes. Come on over. Uh, the adoption process for these. Uh, take me through these. Some of these are actually up for not these specific ones because these are yours. Right. But they, you can adopt reptiles. Yes. You can stay over here on this side of the table. That'll be just fine. Thank you. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I didn't know where That's to go. That's okay. We've got, uh, we've got some snakes over here. Um, here go ahead, Mike. And uh, we've got Joey, yes. uh, Joelle, mm -hmm. and uh, Elizabeth Hillis is in the background here. She's going to bring over some um, some cockroaches in a minute. All right, walk us through this thing. we got a little tiny little baby one here. What is that? <laughs> this is it's baby Norman. He, he's a Kenyan sand boa, but you wouldn't see this, this color pattern in the wild. He's an anorthristic, so it's lacking um, yellow and orange pigment. Really? Okay. So, so that's why he kind of looks. Bigger than this, or is this? Is yes, it? he's still he's only ten months old. Literally a baby. Okay. Yes, How he, big will that snake get? He, if he's a girl, oh. he'll get uh, three foot. If he's a boy, generally stay like two foot. Okay. But they turn into big fat sausages. Like they get really thick. Really? <laughs> yep. Okay. Now uh, you got a what a python around your neck there? Yes, this is a, a ball python. Her name's Slippy. Slippy. And she's 31 years old. My goodness, what a life she's led. Yes. Where do we find those in the wild? You find these in Africa. In Africa? Mm -hmm. And those are, you know, notorious for squeezing their prey to death. Is well, it safe to have them around your neck? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yes. The, the ball pythons are so docile. Like, really? they, you can, they can get scared just from you looking at them pretty much. Like, what do you feed that one? Um, she gets large rats, large frozen rats. thawed. But not alive? No. Okay. You don't want the um, rat to hurt them, so. Yes. Okay. And what do you have over here? This is a beautiful snake. This is Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. <laughs> what a favorite here in Georgia. All right. So uh, these guys are from California. So he's called a California banded king snake. He must be he's, fast. He, he's a king snake. He, yeah. can, he goes on any terrain that he can. He'll go up trees. And they are ravenous eaters. Like they'll, these are really good snakes. Not that they're here. They're in California. But like the eastern king snakes we have in Georgia, they actually eat venomous snakes. Really? They're, they're, they're cannibals. They will eat any snake. They'll eat anything they can get their, their face on. Bring on the bugs while we continue talking about these snakes for a second. Any of these up for adoption, these little ones? Um, Herschel is Herschel currently. Herschel Walker. You can get He's, Herschel Walker. We actually have him adopted out to. Oh, um, we do. Yes. Someone's already got him. All right. To a manager at PetSmart. All right. There you go. Okay. Very good. That's what we want to hear is these, these uh, snakes and, and such adopted. All right. Elizabeth, what do you have? Uh, and let's. Hold one out and let's put them up here so we make sure that people can see them. And let's start with whichever one you want. What do we got? Insects here. Well, these are Madagascan hissing cockroaches. I'm pull this over here so you can see them. 
that's all right. That's, that's okay. okay. Um, <laughs> she will put them on her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. she, she, she doesn't mind. These are hissing cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Now, this is different from the regular oh, cockroach. Oh, very different. It's a little bigger, obviously. Yeah, these are native to Madagascar. They live um, between two and a half and five years. These are both adults. Um, I have a male and a female Hold right still here. still right there, and we can see it on the. There we go, perfect. Um, this is the female, and this is the male. How the can males you tell? have these horns on their heads. They'll actually fight with other males wow. um, over females, territory, other Just things. Just like men, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they do hiss, but they're not doing it right now. Okay. And uh, what do we have in the toilet paper roll over here? Toilet paper roll? Um, let me get these out. <laughs> yes, be careful. Perfect. Um, reptile people will use anything they can. Yeah, utilize. well, you know, mm -hmm. I understand. And they like it. These are giant cave roaches. My goodness. These are native to Central and South America. And they're one of the largest roach species in the world by wingspan. How do you guys get these here in Georgia? We buy them from uh, breeders who have them in captivity. Um, these brooches were actually born in my house. These are part of my personal collection. Um, Very nice. See if I can angle them. Yeah, they've got them there. All right, and then we only have a few seconds left. I want to make sure we get in whatever's in that one, too. Okay, <laughs> and these are desert millipedes. These are native to the southwest United States, and they are one of the largest millipede species in North America. And millipede is similar to, like, kind of looks like a worm. Kind looks like of, except it has a lot of little legs. Oh, okay. And so there's a millipede. Yep. These aren't full grown yet. They live between uh, six to eight years old, this species does. You guys adopt these out too? I do at my house. I you have do? A bunch of them. Awesome. Uh, I just want to make sure we get in before we go because you guys are part of the uh, Atlanta Science Festival, but you guys are the Georgia Reptile Society. And if you're interested in checking them out and getting a membership, you can. It's GA Reptile Society on the bottom of your screen, dot O R G. And we will be right back with some scientific experiments. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Thank, Thank you. you to the lizards and cockroaches <laughs> and snakes. Thank you. <laughs>